I know this might sound a bit strange to some of you, but I'm a firm believer that when the child observes the father and mother, the Muslim you know, husband and wife, interacting with one, one another based upon the values of our sharia, ah, when, and I'll be very honest here, when a man acts like a Muslim role model male, and a woman acts like a Muslim role model female, and the husband acts like an Islamic husband, like the Prophet ﷺ, and the wife acts like the mothers, uh, you know, uh, our mothers, uh, and tries to embody the values of our Sharia. Ah, personally, I believe that this is the number one practical mechanism to instill in your child. Untha, the man is not like the woman. We firmly believe that there are two genders, and we firmly believe that these two genders are separate and distinct. And they do have uh, identities and they do have roles that are different from one another. If the child doesn't see this in their own household, if the mother and father are not acting in accordance with these teachings, then, you know, subhanAllah, don't be surprised if later on they don't understand the distinction between the male and the female. And again, on a very personal anecdote, one of my children, a very young age, came to me, you know, having seen something that, you know, on their uh, um, uh, uh, friends, I don't know what it was, and, you know, asking this question about, you know, why can't there be two mommies? Why can't there be two daddies, you know? And I remember vividly, I literally, this was the example I used. I said, well, don't you see, you know, mama and baba, how different they are? And don't you like that, you know, mama does this and this and baba does this and that? Don't you see that, you know, it's nice for a household to have this type of, you know, basically, I didn't use the word gender disparity, but you get the point that don't you see that uh, gender roles, I should say, a uh, different gender roles. Uh, and I explained in the context of our household, that said the karukal untha, and I felt that it was effective, you know, uh, a mechanism to explain that we don't have this notion of uh, uh, gender fluidity. That uh, you know, gender roles are in fact something that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has blessed us with. So, point number one in this regard is make sure your own family household is a beautiful role model. You as parents have to be examples. Your house has to be a house of love, a house of support, a house of uh, 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 sunnah following the, the prophetic model. <laughs> تعصيني ولا تخشى من العتب وتخفي الذنب عن خلقي وتأبى في الهوى قربي فتب مما جنيت عسى تعود إلى رضا الرب تعود إلى رضا الرب Thank you.